Hello everyone, welcome back to JP's Budget Collecting, and tonight this will be a short video that's going to serve as my entry into Comic Spectre's Road to 500 Subscriber Giveaway Contest. Um, he has actually already achieved 500 subscribers, so congratulations, sir, um, even though he's got a couple weeks left in his contest. Um, his contest was talk about your first comic book. Um, so that's what I'm going to be talking about. Uh, the link to his channel is in the description below. You should, If you haven't checked him out, you definitely should. He does a lot of great content. He's also part of the Comic Corps. Um, he does a show on there on Wednesdays, Comic Corps Unlimited. So definitely check out his channel when you get the opportunity. So for me, first comic book. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> um, if you guys know my story about me as a comic collector... Um, I had comic book. I had some like Disney comic books when I was a kid, like some Donald Duck stuff. But I don't remember what issue or anything, and I don't have them anymore. Um, and they were they were beat because they were kids' copies. Um, but I got when I was reading comics as a kid. What I used to do is I wouldn't buy comics. Um, my mom would go to the grocery store, and I would go to the magazines while she was getting groceries, rather than follow her around. Couldn't do that today anymore. <laughs> um, but I'd go to the magazine section. And I'd go to the spinner rack, and I would just stand there and read comics till she got done shopping for groceries. And that was how I took in comics all through my childhood. Um, I continued to do that even when I had a car. I'd go to the bookstore, and I'd read comic books in the back, and I'd buy any. Um, and that's just kind of how I took in comic books. That's how I read most of uh, uh, Nightfall, and that's how I read The Death of Superman, and that's... Uh, Lot, the clone stuff with Spider-Man, all that I read that way. I didn't buy any of those books. Um, so it really wasn't until um, I got to college that I actually started buying books. And it all changed because of the book I'm going to talk about, which is, if you can look at the books behind me, you probably already know, if you know me, uh, Nightwing number one. Uh, this was, came out in October of 1996. I was a freshman in college and started college in late August 1996. <laughs> Um, went to the comic book store. This was the number one. This was a series I decided to get into. I mean, I knew who Nightwing was. Um, they used to be Robin. And I'd read some Batman stuff. So I knew a little bit about him. So I decided, hey, this would be a good jumping on point. And I love this series. This is a series that took me from being a casual reader to a collector Although, even then, I, a collector reader, because mostly I just collected to read, but um, still do. And But this is a series, uh, this is his first, this was Dick Grayson's first ongoing. Um, he'd had like a short four-issue miniseries as Nightwing before this, but this was his first ongoing. And really, it mirrored what I was going through in my life. And it's why Dick Grayson became my favorite character. It's why Nightwing means so much to me. Um, this was a story of him breaking away from Batman, um, going to a city on his own, being a hero on his own for the first time, having his own rogues gallery, taking on villains. Um, and I just love this story. It mirrored what was going on in my life at the time. I was out on my own for the first time. I was uh, away from home, trying to find my own way, trying to figure things out. So myself... And Dick had a lot of comment at the time. This is the story that submitted him as my favorite character. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it necessarily has historical value. I, this this is like a still like a fifteen twenty dollar comic book um, even today because it's from the mid nineties. But uh, it's a book that has a whole lot of meaning to me. This is still my copy. This is the original copy I bought way back in October of ninety six off the shelf. It's actually still in really, really good shape. Um, probably would need a press if you were ever going to slab it. I don't know. I definitely would love to have a slab copy of this. I don't know that I will. I will probably eventually slab this copy, uh, my copy, just to keep forever. But um, So this is the book. Uh, this is the first comic book that I... Like, even if I look back at my collection, I don't know that any of my books date uh, that were from my original collection that I haven't bought since, like, that were just older because... This might actually still be the first, this might actually be the first one from when I really started buying and collecting. Um, if not, it's within that first group. And so that is my entry. Congratulations, Israel, on 500 subscribers. Well-deserved, sir. 
Um, I'm sure you will be pushing 600 in no time and beyond. Um, and that is my entry. Thanks for joining me, guys. And we will talk to you later. Thank you.